What's going on, everyone? So, uh, new Hunt Showdown patch out today, and uh, just gonna do a quick uh, patch notes overview video here. Just kind of read through the patch notes and uh, kind of talk about some of the important things here. Um, so, at the start here, um, new server region. So, if uh, you live in the Asia region, you uh, have servers now. So, there you go. Um, two target mission selection so they had this in the uh, closed alpha for the last like week of it to test it out and then i guess they took it out to uh, refine it and uh, they're putting it back in so you'll now be able to select the option of two target missions on the mission selection page uh, each boss will have its own region on the map this will be visibly marked with a line through the map designating each area uh, to a specific boss bosses of the smaller region are easier to find but yield less bounty Two target missions will yield more bounty, but each individual target worth less overall. So essentially they're saying that, um, you know, the, the two bounty missions, if you were to collect both bounties, you know, kill both bosses, collect both bounties, you would get more overall uh, XP and money uh, than you would by doing the single one. However, if you're only able to kill one boss and get the bounty for it, you're going to get less than if you were to do a single target mission. Um, so basically if you do a two target mission, it sounds like it's, you know, you, you want to get both bounties. However, you know, um, I think doing the two target mission overall, even if you just get one bounty, you know, if you're struggling on the single target missions, you know, it's still a good way to get, uh, more XP and, uh, and money if you need to. Uh, hunters will now have the chance to run the gauntlet. This is achieved by successfully extracting with both bounty tokens from both targets as a team, extracting with all four bounties. So yeah, essentially it's, you know, that's uh, one of the things on the stat page where you can, uh, if you extract with both bounties. So they've added in random mission selection. Uh, we are also introducing random mission selection, there's what you need to know. Random missions are exactly that, completely random. For these, you'll need to be more flexible with your gear equipment before selecting the missions. All mission parameters are random. Details of each mission will only be revealed once matchmaking is complete, meaning you will not be able to leave the mission without losing your hunter. Random missions will yield a higher bounty reward, allowing you to gain, allowing you to earn plus 25 per extra bounty token. So, I mean, you get... Uh, it doesn't say what plus 25 of. Uh, I'm assuming it's like plus 25 XP per bounty token that doesn't really seem like that's that worth that much for doing a random mission to be honest i would like to see more gains i'd like to see more money earned and more xp but i guess it's a start so we'll have to go from there i guess spawn point selection so they had this in the uh, uh in like the last part of the closed alpha as well and they took it out because i guess it had some bugs in it and i guess they retweaked them so see how this goes uh, this feature retested during the alpha, but needed speaking for introducing into early access. You will be given a choice of two spawn points that will be assigned to your team. You and your partner can spawn in different locations. This is really important to remember. So yeah, if you want to, you can spread out on the map, and um, that'll let you guys search for other clues separately, so you can technically find the boss quicker, but you're at a disadvantage because you're both alone. So it's kind of a risk-reward strat if you wanted to do that. <clears throat> This is intended to give you more control where you start, specifically for two target missions, which allow teams to spawn closer to the target they want to focus on. Um, some, some general updates, Bloodline. Added details for XP received when retiring a hunter. So this is something that people were wondering about and they didn't really give any information. So now when you retire a hunter at level 25, it'll grant 2500 XP to your Bloodline. This scales up to 5000 XP when you retire a hunter at level 50. So it's, I guess, you know, if you retire Hunter at level 26, you would get 2,600 XP, etc., up to 5,000 XP that you would get at level 50. So retiring a Hunter, you know, actually has some reward now. You get some extra XP. However, it looks like because retiring Hunters gives you XP in your overall bloodline, they've uh, nerfed the overall amount of XP you get when uh, you just do normal stuff. Uh, XP gates in the bloodline have now been lowered. Hunters uh, will now also give, lex give less XP to the bloodline. This is to compensate for the higher XP gains that go directly to the bloodline when retiring a hunter or continuing to play with a level 50 hunter. So basically it sounds like they want you to start you know, retiring hunters more often. <clears throat> they want you um, yeah, to just keep going through hunters, I guess, at some point in time until 
so you know, for whatever reason. I don't know how I, I really agree with that. I, I think you would want to keep your hunter as long as possible. Um, but, you know, it kind of sucks that, uh, you know, you sit there and you, you build this hunter up, get all the traits, and then you retire him. However, you know, <clears throat> as you level up and you get access to higher tier hunters, you know, to start with, they're going to be more optimal um you know to level up anyway because they're going to start off with more health and better traits so you're going to have uh less uh upgrade points to spend on other traits or should i i should, I should say that the opposite way you'll have more ex, uh, you know, upgrade to points to, to spend on on traits and stuff like that so getting hunters at starting off at a higher tier are always better so i guess maybe that's their balance to that you're going to want to just keep retiring lower tier hunters and until you get up to higher tier hunters, etc. Uh, so they rebound some of the bounty rewards. Uh, lower the bounty reward for locating targets layer from 50 to 25. So yeah, you, I guess you used to get you used to get 50 bucks from uh, finding the the targets layer, but they lowered that to 25, and then they um, added a reward for actually killing the targets. So you get 50 dollars now for actually killing the targets. So I think. You know, you're going to, overall, if you were to find all the clues, find the boss's lair, kill the boss, and extract with the bounty, you're going to get more money overall now um, than if uh, you just let someone else kill the boss. So, a little bit more of an incentive to actually fight the boss. You get a little bit more money. I don't know if it's enough incentive. Um, we'll see. Um, UI stuff, visual update applied to the main menu, background graphics, increase performance, and improve uh, farming for individuals. See, framing, not farming, framing. Visual changes to the extraction timer, positioning icon, etc. So they got some weapon changes here, and this is this is kind of the interesting thing. This is, um, we're going to see uh, how some of this stuff changes here. You're going to have to get in game and try some of this out and see how this changes, because they changes some of the, some of the bullet damage uh, for range and stuff. <clears throat> so the... Baterly, uh, I think that's the carbiner, uh, increased damage from 90 to 100, so they buffed that damage some, which it kind of needed, because uh, it, was, it, was, it was better than the Winfield, but it wasn't as good as the Sparks or the Mosin, so I don't know, it's kind of one of those guns that, in my opinion, didn't really get used much. They increased the price of the Caldwell conversion uppercut to 175, so... Um, I, I definitely think that that was kind of needed because um, once you got the uppercut pistol, it pretty much made the sparks useless, and uh, the 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 uppercut pistol actually is still probably better than the sparks overall. It uses the same ammo as the sparks. Um, it just didn't have as good a range as the sparks did, but you could still kill someone at decent range in one or two hits with that pistol. It's a very strong pistol. So um, yeah. I definitely needed like a price change to kind of go in line, I guess, with some of the other powerful weapons. Uh, tweak the damage fall off and distance markers for all bullet types. So, compact ammo, increased damage multiplier for long range, fall off, and increase the short range marker before decreasing damage. So, it's kind of weird wording, but uh, I'm assuming that means they. Uh, overall, the the, com the Winfield Compact is going to do more damage at range. Um, yeah, Compact Ammo. Increased damage multiplier for long range fall off and increased the short range marker before decreasing damage. So yeah, that sounds like it's just going to do more damage at range. So, um, um, yeah, that just sounds like a buff to Compact Ammo in general. Um, the Winfield, any of the pistols that use Compact Ammo... They should do a little bit more damage at range now. So that's going to make them deadlier and a little more worth it. Uh, medium ammo, increased damage multiplier for long range fall off, and increased mid range marker before increasing uh, ammo. Or decreasing ammo. That sounds weird. And medium ammo, increased damage multiplier for long range fall off, and increased mid range marker before decreasing ammo. I think that's typo. I think they meant damage, not ammo. So, same thing. Uh, long range ammo increase short to m and mid range mark before decreasing damage. So the long ammo doesn't look like um, they changed the l long distance damage, but um, closer up um, it might do more damage. That's as kind of what that sounds like. Uh, rebalance the dusters and brawlers and fists. So this is another one. Uh, before the knuckle dusters and uh, the the gaunt brawler were pretty much kind of like the best overall early level you know uh, melee weapons to use. 
And it sounds like they're still going to be good, um, but they're going to be good for different purpose. Um, they, that sounds like what they've done is they're basically retweaking the, the, the knuckle dusters and the brawler to be uh, better at taking on groups of zombies, but it still takes more hits to kill individual zombies. So this is what it says here. Damage for each of these has been slightly re reduced, but we've optimized the stamina consumption, allowing for more successive strikes before running out. So yeah, you're going to be able to hit the zombies more, you know, more times uh, than with any kind of other melee weapon, but um, it doesn't do as much damage, essentially. Uh, these weapons will now be better at encountering groups of enemies, while the knife uh, will be better for taking out single targets quickly. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, and then uh, the rest of these are uh, just some kind of bug fixes. Um, so if you guys are kind of interested in reading through uh, the bug fixes, um, then, you know, I'll just uh, post the uh, link to the patch notes below in the description. So some interesting changes here. Uh, the big ones are, in my opinion, kind of the weapon damage. That so sounds like they're going to make the game much, you know, much deadlier, you know, for earlier... Uh, I'd like to find tier hunters you know when you only have two bars of health now uh, it's gonna be gonna be pretty easy to die pretty quickly now because uh, all the all the the, the the ammos are gonna be doing that much more damage at, at various at longer ranges so we'll see how that goes um, the uh, the carbiner yeah, might actually be worth using now and uh, a little bit more incentive yeah. overall for uh, going after the boss um, and then, yeah, you know, you're going to need to start retiring your hunters a little bit more now, gain some more XP quicker. And then they got the two to, uh, the, the, the two boss mode in now. So that's pretty much kind of the overview of the patch. So um, I'll just leave you guys here with uh, the rest of the gameplay on this video. Um, I should have, you know, uh, another uh, bit or two out this week for you guys. Um and uh yeah hopefully i can get on some streaming for you guys but uh, anyway thanks for uh, hanging out checking out the video uh like i said i'll have the uh, link to the patch notes down below um uh, like i announced in the video yesterday we've got a new community discord uh server up so i'll have the link for that below in the uh description as well uh feel free to join it's open to anyone uh you know feel free to come in hang out meet up with some new people that want to play hunt showdown or just whatever Feel free to uh, comment down below, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter if you like, uh, Twitter, John Matrix 69 And uh, you can feel free to uh, stop by whenever you see me streaming on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash johnmatrix69 if you like. Feel free to stop on in there and say hello, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. know if there's an overall meta in the game but shotguns are very important for uh, pvp at close Check range the wall, I guess. quartermaster is definitely super important uh, shit. i'm not shooting anymore i might have died in the bomb uh, please don't be mad yeah, I have a shotgun as my primary. Oh. Oh, and uh, my pistol here is a secondary for range. A little bit behind you here. They know why they hear us, they hear us. I don't think you, I, I think it's a dude that's in the cemetery over here and not someone who's down in there, honestly. I'm thinking southwest, that's where he sounded like he was talking from. Could be guys fighting the boss, I don't know. Or it might be in the church itself. Yeah, it sounded, oh, from over there. Definitely shooting at me. Yeah, this guy right here.
think you downed him because I hit him once too. Smoke from back at the Hit. Oh, I'm at him. He's got zombies on him. Up. Is he down? Yeah. He's down, he's down, he just got killed. Zombies down, I'm sick. I'm back at one HP bar again now. I think I did down the guy because. Yeah, he's down right here, yeah. That was the team. I think this guy down here was a tier 3. He definitely was, yeah, he had the cloak on and shit. So, I don't know. Well, no one's down with the boss because he's not mad, so... Yeah, he's half health. Ammo right here. Ammo right here. This one here, too. Here he is, here he is over here. Yep. Be careful. Chasing me. So, with the butcher, you definitely want to use shotguns. Shotguns and explosions are the best way to kill the butcher. Basically. Oh, it rose his head. That's not good. Oh, God. One more should do it. Got him. Nice. I don't think I can banish it. I think I'll get burnt. There we go. Safe. Ammo in here if you need some. Even if I can find you some health. It's fucking ammo galore, that's for sure. So we killed two or three teams. Yeah. I don't see any health over here. Yeah, I don't see any either. It's whatever. If I die, I die. Um, the pistol right here is what I'm using for my ranged weapon. It's you a lot harder to aim at range because of the scope sway, but you kind of get used to it. And then uh, there's other weapons that are better than the Winfield eventually. But yeah, I got this barrel shotgun, uh, the single barrel shotgun, the Romero 77 is my primary, and then I'm using the this pistol as like my range weapon. I don't know if I'm able to use a uh, what you call shot on you. I tell you, I don't know. Stab me, daddy. Oh, you did. Thank you. You did. Oh, did? Yeah, it showed to me injecting it on me. Yeah, you got me. Thanks. My hero. There you go. Another new tip. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to get Quartermaster. I actually haven't had a whole lot of time to play since it's been on early access. Like so I, uh, I'm actually pretty far behind compared to a lot of other people. Still pretty early levels. Now well, the closest one is, uh, Southwest of it here. Yeah. You wanna go fucking east? <laughs> sure. All the way over there. I think, it's, I think it's pretty likely it's getting fucking camped. Yeah, when we get out of the game, uh, and you, you can see how the stats kind of level up. Hey, hey, 
just a chance? Get so fucking loud. Yep. the journey. So it's better to melee zombies if you can. Because it's quieter and uses less overall stamina. That's why I always switch to the uh, to the melee weapon, which is for now the knuckle duster, which is the best melee weapon in the game right now currently. We can just scare crew. Yeah, fuck, fuck it. I mean. Got the fucking shit track on us, so fuck it. Ah, uh, you can have as many as you have upgrade points possible. I don't, yeah, I don't really think there is a max. It just all depends on your upgrade points. So, like, that's why later on getting, like, a tier 3 uh, hunter is worth it. Or, it, I should say, getting higher tier hunters when you can is more worth it. Because they'll start off with more traits. Chill, uh, Brian, so that means you'll have to use less upgrade points to get other traits. So... Nope. Had to be done. Grandma didn't take a nap today. You're gonna take a nap? I said grandma didn't take a nap today. Oh, uh, yeah. Nap. Fucking grandma. Wow, we're going up really high. Uh, know. there's three tiers what? of hunters. Tier one is what you start off with. Uh, I think once you reach level 33, you can unlock tier 2 hunters, and then at level 66, I believe, it's tier 3 hunters that you can start to get. And they come with better equipment and more traits, more health, stuff like that. But they're also more expensive. Like, tier 3 hunters can cost like $1,000. Little bit behind you. How the fuck are you so slow, bro? I don't know, my dude's fat. Don't judge me. Just because I don't have a fancy hat like you do. <laughs> it's aerodynamic, dude. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you, um, Like, eventually, you, you'll be able to upgrade your hunter as you go along. But, yeah, eventually, you'll be able to unlock the tier of, those tiers of hunters. Like, you'll be able to purchase them. This took a lot longer than anticipated. Indeed. And also, like I said, I'm fat. Went to McDonald's. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. McDaniel. Uh, they'll stop. They'll have just better equipment. They'll have more health and better equipment, better traits, more traits.
almost there. Now, when you retire a character, you get rid of him. You get, uh, I think, an XP dump for yeah, it, though. Yeah, we look up for the fuck camper. But you don't really want to retire him until you get him to max level. I mean, you you actually can't even retire hunters until you get them to at least level 25. Horses are not freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Capital of Madonna. Madonna. This is my bush. <laughs> yeah, technically, you can go into a game and do that if you want to. It's like an exploit. You can go into a game and just uh, close the game. And then you'll lose your hunter and whatever gear you came in there with. So, I mean, you can do that. It's kind of an exploit. But that is something you can do. Alright, so we just won. And you can see here how the leveling up works. So everything you kill in the game gives you a certain amount of XP. Like killing regular zombies, killing hives, killing people. You know, the various classes of zombies. Killing the boss, finding the boss's lair. Uh, benefits you because it's cheaper to buy a hunter strip them of their gear and then get rid of the hunter instead of just buying the gear alone by itself and i'll show you here i get it yeah too. all right you ready five minutes yep. there you'll see the level up process here in just a second yeah so this is going through all the things we did and the, the xp and money it's worth and then as you can see right here at each of these stages this, this throws XP down to your overall account level. Okay, like right now I'm level five, almost level six. And then at level six, I unlock this determination trait. And then every time you get your hunter up a level, you get a level up point right here. So I just got 12 upgrade points, and all that XP is now going down into my main account. So I just got, you know, three levels out of that, and I unlocked these items from those level ups. 